Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Let's go exploring Murda's Keep, and fight some new enemies, pesky jesters! Death jester? No. No, that's another game to use. But anyway, let's see. These guys, they have pretty high resistance to most status ailments. Uh, you might use Dazzle on them if there's like three or four of them in a battle, but they don't have too much HP. So I figure it's better just to go with using the Cautery Swords to cast Sizz. There we go. And they are also very susceptible to Knuckle Sandwich there. And I'd also like to keep my HP up with the Staff of Ghent there. Cast Mid Heal on one of your party members for free. But alright. You also saw those guys attack twice in a round. That's a Falcon Slash ability they got there. So, yeah, that's something to worry about a little bit. Just keep an eye on your HP and you'll be fine. They're pretty straightforward. And here we got another new enemy, Sculptrice. So let's see, we want Carver to use Knuckle Sandwich, use Sap on them with Rex, and get Dazzle so that way they can't hit us as often with their physical attacks. Okay, good. We got both of those to go through. Yeah, cause Snooze is really annoying to have to deal with. It's basically the same thing as the regular Snooze spell, except it has much better accuracy. So, yeah, that's a problem there. I would like to cast Sap again if Rex wakes up. These guys got quite a bit of HP, and I'd highly recommend fighting them. Clear them out of here. And by the way, if you die and you have to come back here, these guys won't respawn. I don't think, anyway. But, anyway. Now, eventually, Dazzle will wear off, but by the time it does, I won't care anymore. And also, if you got up to, uh, I think it's level 16? Maybe it's 17. I think it's 16. Uh, Navan could have learned the Tingle spell, which can wake up all your party members. But I didn't do that level grinding because, well, I got good armor from uh, the casinos there. So that allows me to get through this place at much lower levels. Hey, you haven't played this JRPG before, have you, Navan? Well, anyway. Okay, so we are uh, got that guy taken care of. Let's heal up just a little bit because we got another one right up top there. Take care of this guy. Okay. And once we uh, defeated that, Sculptress, we get this place opened up. Hmm, I wonder why a monster is being put in there. Hmm. And we can't get into that room with the skeleton either. Remember those rooms for later viewers. We're not going to be able to come back to them for quite some time. But when we do, well, you'll see. Okay, so anyway, we got another new enemy there. Sorcerer. Let's see, he can cast Frizzle, Oomph. Uh, let's see, he can also call for backup with uh, animated armors. So, yeah, we want to take that guy out pretty quickly because he can not only deal a lot of damage to us, but he can buff up the other guys who can hit us twice in a round. Uh, you could cast Fizzle on the sorcerers, but they have a lot of resistance to it, so most likely it's not going to go through. Maybe if there was two or three and I didn't have anything better for Navan to do, then I might consider it. Whoa! They're kind of ganging up on me there. But yeah, once you get the uh, sorcerers out of the way, the rest of these guys, relatively easy to deal with. Oh man. I didn't get my, uh, well, enough healing going. Oh, well. Well, we can just heal up that way, too. Don't worry about your MP at this point. Use what you have to, because some of the enemies here are pretty tough. We've got a lot of new enemies around here. Like that, that guy. Parmore. Uh, let's see. These guys, they can... They have really high physical defense, so we want to use Sap on them. And, yeah, there you see the Sorcerer calling some backup there. Let's see, Harmors can also uh, summon a heal slime to uh, heal them, just like every other Dragon Quest game. 
Well, most of them. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you want to take out the heal slime as quickly as you can. As far as uh, spells to use, uh, let's see. Harmor is susceptible to Frizz, Sizz, and Bang, if you have any of those spells. Uh, Crack and Woo, she's got pretty high resistance, too, so I wouldn't use those. But I do want to heal up a little bit there. Awesome. Hey, even Millie can deal respectable damage when you sap all their defense away. But, yeah, let's see. How are we doing? Hmm. Yeah, we might want to heal up Carver a little bit there, just to be safe. Okay, that's good. Got two Sculptrices here, so I'll take them out and be right back. Okay, we're back. Took care of those two guys. So, let's see what's up on the East Wing of this place. Okay, took out another one of those Sculptrices. What do we got over here? Monsters! Or, er, well, just one. That's an unexpected. And this guy does have the MP to cast Whack. So you want to get sap on him to reduce his defense if you can. Even though he does have pretty high resistance to it, you don't really have many other options. Let's see. He has... He's immune to Knuckle Sandwich, so we can't use that on him. Well, we'll just do what we can for now. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, Absorb Magic, whenever you cast a spell on him, it will... He'll get the MP from that spell. Or it'll restore his MP. So, yeah, I don't want to cast Sap on him anymore. But, yeah, let's just heal up there. Fortunately, his physical attacks aren't that much to worry about, usually. Let's see, let's have Carver use Double Up. Since, yeah, he's not going to be dealing too much damage for the most part. Or I could be wrong. Why not? Oh, so much for that idea. Yeah, why don't you uh, heal up there? Well, fortunately, he doesn't do that desperate attack or critical hit too often. But anyway, let's see. Get heal up Carver. Let's see, he's got, what, like 200 HP or something ridiculous? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, just have Navan healing whoever gets damaged, and yeah, it's pretty easy. Navan's not really good on the offense there. Not for, not right now, anyway. Later on, he will be. But anyway, we learned to bang for Millie there. That is an explosion-type spell. Hits all enemies on the battlefield. It's really nice. Especially when you don't you have boomerangs or anything. You know, I was going to go down there, but let's head on up here first. We want to get that treasure. All right. Defeated the Sculptress. And what's our prize? The Fire Claw. You can use that as an item in battle to cast Frizzle. But it also has a lot of attack power for Carver. So I'm going to give that to him. And let's see. Let's... Clear some uh, inventory space there. And also with the uh, Fire Claw there, whenever you attack an enemy with it, it will deal a little extra damage on top of it. Just some fire damage. So, I mean, it's nothing extraordinary, but hey, take every bit you can. So, yeah, it's a very good piece of equipment. I'm going to be keeping that around for quite some time. You insolent fools! Okay, here we got another mini boss, Grim Keeper. Uh, let's see, these guys, well, not only have their regular attacks, they can also poison you with their physical attacks, and they can inflict envenomed. So, want to watch out for that. Get Dazzle on him, sapped him twice, and that should make life a lot easier. I had Carver use the Fire Claw there in the first round, so that way. He'd probably deal a little more damage with that than with his physical attack before we got sap on him. Yeah, you see how it dealt a little extra damage there? So, yeah. Now, the thing is, for weapon procs, like that little extra damage there, or like a Miracle Sword from the previous games or whatever, they don't stack with a lot of uh, physical abilities, like Knuckle Sandwich, Double Up. So... 
that's not gonna work with that. But still, I would if an enemy is susceptible to it, I would use a uh, knuckle sandwich. Unfortunately, this guy is highly resistant to it, so yeah, it's not really effective there. But, well, we should almost have him. He's got over 500 HP. Holy cow. But, all right, got him. See, so getting a little light on MP there, but I think we've pretty much cleared all the treasure and monsters around here. Oh, um, yeah, I suppose so. I wonder how much Navan knows about Murda. I mean, they were, like, practically willing to just say, Nope, sorry, we can't help you, even though he's going to destroy the entire world. Or kill just about everyone, or take over the world, or whatever. So, yeah. Oh! For some reason I thought he still had that in Venom status. Well, okay, let's get out of here. So yeah, we gotta... Well, we're not gonna leave the whole place. But, I mean, we got to, well, go back to where we found Carver's statue there. And after that battle, gained a level for Navan there, learned Zing. It revives a party member at 50% HP, but it also has a 50% chance of simply failing and you waste your MP. That's one of the reasons why I got the Yggdrasil leaves. And we got a couple more new enemies. Well, one more new enemy. Two of them. Uh, Thumbering Rams. These guys can put you to sleep. So you want to use Fizzle on them. They're pretty susceptible to it. Let's see, anything else? You could use Fuddle on them if you wanted to. They're pretty susceptible to that. But I think if you got Fizzle going, that should be good enough. But yeah, Slumbering Rams, they can cast Snooze and Cussinoo. And yeah, since we don't have Tingle, kind of hard to wake up from that, I'm afraid. But yeah, let's get Knuckle Sandwiches going on the Pesky Jesters. Let's see, Slumbering Rams, they're fairly susceptible to uh, Knuckle Sandwich as well. So as long as an enemy is susceptible to it, I'll probably use that most of the time. Unless it's someone that I really need that initiative for. But I don't hear, because I've already got Fizzle on them. So, yeah, I'm not really worried about that. Let's try and stay on top of the HP and everything. And looks like Murdoch saved his best minions for last, huh? We can take care of them. Yeah, get Millie back up to par there. Awesome. How much HP do these guys have? Well, they got a little over a hundred. So... Alright, good job, Millie. Okay, well, we're almost at the end here. Actually, it's right up these stairs, just like before. Hmm. What's going on? Oh, yeah, probably. We've been everywhere else in the castle. How hard could he possibly be? Oh, well, yeah, we were. Okay, but before going in there, let's make a, uh, take a look at our setup here. And heal everyone up, too, while we're at it. Let's see. Okay, now, Carver, I gave one of the more Psycho Essences and an Yggdrasil Leaf. You want to give an Yggdrasil Leaf to just about everyone, really. Put, gave a whole bunch of more Psycho Essences to Rex there. I also gave a whole bunch to Millie, so that way they can conserve their MP. I don't need it for, well, Navan, of course, because he has the, uh, the staff there. Staff again. So, he's good to go, too. Let's take on Murdoch. Congratulations! Allow me to grant you a title befitting the amazing achievement you just performed. Henceforth, you shall be known as the slayer of stupid, incompetent, and disappointing minions. Nice. 
But will Roz Mirror be able to save us this time? Are we going to have to start all over again? Can we defeat Murdoch once and for all and save the world? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!